Hello, and welcome back to another episode of the... Oh boy, we're off to a good start. Hello, and welcome back to another episode of RL Craft. This is part 15. Last time, I went just about insane trying to kill a dragon. Didn't go too good. This time, I'm gonna do something a little bit simpler. I need resources, as that dragon fight clearly showed me. I am not near prepared. And to get resources, I'm gonna need two things. We already have a cow farm. I need a sheep farm, and I need a chicken farm. Sheep for wool, because wool can let me make these little bandage things. That's very nice. And, uh, the chickens for feathers. Also gonna probably have to sleep here in a second, but yeah, that's my main plan for the episode. I also kinda wanna build a bridge there. Doesn't really have anything to do with anything, I just kinda want to. <laughs> So yeah, we'll see just how far I can actually get with this plan. I guess I should start by making foundations. I'm gonna need dirt for this. Now to start off, I'm thinking I want this second farm to be three blocks below the first one, and I'll get into why in just a second. First though, I wanna place things, make sure I actually know what I'm doing. Okay, so now that I've got the outline of the second part of the building pretty much good, I can kind of show you what I'm trying to build here. So my plan is I'll have stairs running down. I want to build kind of like a tiered farming system so that it kind of adheres to the landscape because something I've noticed in my builds is I very often build things very flat. Like I flatten out the land and I don't really want to do that in this series. So instead, I'm going to kind of build with the land. So I'll have kind of stairs going down each tier. I kind of want to build a bridge going across there. I'm pretty sure I already said that. I will get to that eventually, but for now I guess I gotta finish off this area. I've also got to figure out how my paths are gonna work. That's something I haven't done yet. I haven't built paths. Okay, so I've got the majority of this thing pretty much mimicking the first section, and I realized I am kind of missing something. I don't have any torches. I ran out of the, like, super ultimate torches that don't burn out. Huh. You know what? That's okay, because I have a plan. So what I am going to do is I'm going to put away all the resources that I currently have on me, and I'm also going to make a second pickaxe, and I'm going to try to head over to that area, the, whatchamacallit, the city, because I need glowstone. That city just so happens to be absolutely chocked full of glowstone, so hopefully should be good. I'm really hoping the village people that are there aren't still mad at me. I honestly don't know what I did, but the Aegises seem to very much dislike me, so... Eh, maybe this isn't the greatest of plans. Oh look, it's the hole of death. Alright, please tell me they don't hate me. If they do, I will be very sad. You know? I think we may be good. All right. Now all I gotta do is steal all of their protection. <laughs> Assuming I can actually jump properly. Might as well grab a few regular torches as well, just to be safe. I think we're about good. Even found a couple mending books in one of the houses. So, I guess it's time to head back. Which was in one of these directions. Oh, I recognize that log. It's this way. And now that I have torch power, I can continue on to the next portion. I think I'll probably make it... Uh, yeah, I'll make it the same slope as that one. One thing I am very glad about is this does finally give me an excuse to cover up this whole ravine that's been just sitting there this whole time. Ah, uh, it is real dark down there, though. That might be a problem. Okay, I might have to light that up. Okay, I was doing a bit of terraforming. Found a cave. It's always a fun thing to find. Uh, oh, good, this goes down a good distance. Okay, good. It seems that it goes... This might actually go down into that ravine I was looking at. But yeah, as long as we don't have anything that's going to be climbing out, I'm happy. I do keep hearing a growling sound, though, which is worrying, because it sounds like it's coming from under my base. But I'm going to keep ignoring it. <laughs> that is absolutely going to come back to bite me in the future, but oh well. So I've got the basic structure of this down, so I'm thinking, uh, we got cows there, I guess that'll be sheep and that'll be chickens. So got that pretty much complete. 
So there's two things left that I need to do. I need to build the stairs. I need, well, I guess actually there's three things I need to do. I need to build the stairs. I want to build a bridge going from there to there, which I've mentioned like three times now. And I obviously need to get the animals. So let's actually start with the bridge. Okay, does the bridge look any good? Uh, <laughs> it could use some work. I can already see a few areas where I messed up. I think maybe if I move that down a block, so put that there, grab my stairs, put that there. Does that look any better? Uh, maybe I should put a slab there, move that down one more. Uh, it's certainly not the best bridge in the world, but you know what? It definitely looks better than, well I say definitely, it looks better than it did before. And I think that's going to be good enough. So now for the stairs. I think I'll build the stairs going down on this part. So let's break this out. Then should I just, oh, there's a window there. Maybe I should make them go down in the middle. So the stairs will start there. Let's put them down a little bit like that. Uh, what am I going to do? Uh, hold on. Maybe if I do like that. That look good? Yeah, I think that works. So now that I've got this whole area set up, I guess... Actually, wait, I was just about to say the only thing I have left is get animals, but I forgot to light up the ravine. It's somewhat important. Uh, what in the world is that? Okay, uh, that is horrifying. Oh... That... that really makes my arachnophobia very unhappy. Okay, it's dead. And I am poisoned. And I am probably going to very... oh, it's an eye wig. Okay, I'm leaving. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely important that I lit this place up. So that now I can cover it up entirely and never have to go back down there again. That is, of course, assuming I can see to find my way back into my home. I don't come out at night very often. This is not good. I am very thankful this mod has the dynamic lighting thing. Oh, what in the world? Oh, the rare fireball gas thing of recklessness. Okay, die, creature of horror. I can't even see it. It's, like, invisible every time it attacks. Or is it just that small? I think it's just that small. Uh, it's really hard to hit. Okay, is it dead? It's dead. It gave me a spear. Okay, hello skeleton. Uh, you're who I was trying to fight. You're already very low on health, though. And you killed yourself. Okay, well that certainly woke me up. <laughs> and now that I'm at half health, I have permanent slowness. Oh, there's more creatures here. Well, you seem to be peaceful. I'll leave you alone. Okay, let's try this again. Finishing, covering up this thing. I didn't expect it to be difficult, but, yeah. Well, it's not really difficult. I just keep getting jump scared. I don't like jump scares. Frankfurt, this is all your fault. And just like that, there is now no ravine here. That is a nuisance I've been dealing with since I moved here, and I am very glad to have it gone. So I guess now I actually only have the animals to collect. I might want to wait a night though so I can heal a bit because... Ah, Frankfurt, go away. I don't like having slowness. It's not fun. Well, no, I'm just going to go ahead and go get the stuff. I usually walk a little faster than the animals anyway, so maybe the slowness will be helpful. Oh, I already see a sheep. Beautiful. I'm going to walk a little farther to see if I can't find a second one, and then I'll grab you on the way back. I know I... Oh yeah, there's already a sheep. I was going to say, I know I saw plenty of sheep while I was looking for cows, so I know they're not going to be an issue. Really, I'm mostly worried about chickens. I haven't seen more than, like, one chicken in quite a while. And that one chicken was quite a good distance in the direction of the city. Beautiful. We now have our sheep. So, chickens. Where should I even begin to look? Probably my bed. It is getting very late. According to my season clock, it seems to be the perfect time to find chickens, so this shouldn't be difficult. 
What, what in the world is that? What is that? Oh, oh no, I don't like you. I really don't like you. Okay, I'm just gonna... You deal with it. Go, deal with it. I don't like you. I really don't like you. What in the world is that thing? Oh, it's a big green spider. You know, I should have guessed that. Let's just summon a few more of these things. Uh, the tarantula. Oh, good. Oh, and it summoned a bunch of webs everywhere. Okay, they go away. That's nice. I really didn't like that. Yeah, that thing does not make me happy. Oh, boy. That's why I don't go out at night very often, because things like that spawn. I feel like this biome didn't quite get the memo of what season it was. What is that? That is an ent. Oh. Is it hostile? I don't want to attack you, but I don't know if you're trying to attack me. I'm going to take that as a yes. Ow. Yeah, okay, you're definitely attacking me. Good thing you're not too terribly strong. Okay, so you got a stick, and that's pretty much it. Still no chickens, though. The saying spring chicken says maybe this biome isn't the greatest place. Uh, I know I saw one somewhere in that direction, I think. Drink water right next to this weird-looking fish. The Silix, level 2. Not much health. Ooh, it drops lapis. Well, this is pretty much where I saw the chicken. And, oh, did I hear a chicken or am I hearing those things? I don't know. All I know is I don't need to get too close in that direction because I don't want to aggro the dragon. I guess worst case scenario, I can see if I have any eggs back at my house. I might be able to just get lucky with one of those. But before I try and do that, I am going to look a little bit more, maybe in that direction. <gasps> Chickens, yes! And there's quite a few of them, too. Oh, wow, there's a lot of chickens. Okay, I'm actually going to see if I can get all of these, because that would be awesome. My base is in sight. I am very glad that I built that tower. It has seriously helped me out with navigation. I will say there is something a little bit unnerving about the pitter-patter of, like, 20 chicken feet. Just always behind you. Maybe they just picked a weird noise or sound effect for it in this game, but... Eh... It's weird. Anyway, wait, did I miss a chicken? <laughs> Alrighty, cool. I guess that one just got left behind. I probably left behind. I feel like I had like twice as many chickens a minute ago. But anyway, let's go ahead and breed all of you. And we have done it. Actually, there is still one last thing I do want to do. But first I need to sleep. Oh, in like 10 seconds. <gasps> How dare you? You've just you ruined you you've soiled my home. Can't believe you would do that. How dare he enter my humble abode? Okay, I literally live in a castle, but yeah, I guess a castle is literally the least humble home you can possibly have. But still, how dare you? Anyway, I forgot to put the ladders inside here, because I have to actually be able to access the chickens. Well, the chickens, the cows, all of them. And the reason I'm doing this is because sometimes, whenever you use the regular old entrance, a bunch of things just decide it's time to leave, which doesn't really work out too good for me. In fact, I might actually move this one to make it be in line with the others, just so it looks a little nicer. Ah. You know, I think I might actually have to cull the herd a little bit here anyway, because there are way too many cows in there. I can barely walk. can't even place the ladders down. I'm just going to keep clicking until I can see my screen. <laughs> uh, oh, we've got a Grim Reaper in here. I know, I'm killing a lot of cows, I'm sorry. At least it's very easy to kill. I think that should be good for now. Alrighty, so then make sure I can actually leave. Yes, we're good. And I'm actually going to drop down and get these drops. Oh, what was that sound? I just heard a chicken take damage. What happened? Uh, chickens, you okay? Uh, what? A uh, rotten egg. Uh, ice and fire. Oh, okay, do I still have the same amount of chickens? I think so. 
I guess that was just the sound of a rotten egg. Okay. But anyway, there we go. I think we officially now have every major farmable animal in Minecraft. I guess you could say we don't have pigs, but let's be honest, what are pigs really useful for? They're literally just worse cows. So I think that's going to be all for this time. I hope you enjoyed. Next time, I actually have a little bit of a, a similarly calm plan. If I go to K, I believe I now have enough gathering to get the Lucky Fisherman. Yes, beautiful. So what this does is it essentially, well, it tells you, it says luck increased while fishing. Next episode, I want to build a dock because I haven't done too terribly much fishing in this and I know that fishing gives you incredibly good loot in Minecraft. I've done it plenty of times before. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time. Bye.